Hello, and welcome to your Coffeyville Community College online course. My name is Brad Weber, and I am the Director of Distance Learning here at Coffeyville Community College, as well as the Director of the College's online courses. The purpose of this video will be to serve as the instructional tool and informational guide to enable you to have a successful online course experience. If, at the end of this presentation, you still find that you have any questions and or concerns about Coffeyville Community College's online courses, please feel free to contact me at the following. To log into your course, you will need a couple of numbers. The first is your student ID number. This number can be found on any document you may have received from the college or you may contact the school and inquire into what your number is. The second number is the last four digits of your social security number. Now, let me go to my computer and help lead you through how to log into your online course. Okay, now how do you log on to your course? You find your way to our main college website, www.coffeeville.edu. Once you're on our front page, at the very top of the page above the search site, there is a link, Online Classes. You'll click on the Online Classes, which takes you to our Online Class Information page. To the right of that page, the software that we use for our online classes is Moodle. You'll see the icon that says Moodle and log into your course. This is where you'll click to take you to the login page. Click on the Moodle. The computer will think on it for a second and bring you to our online course login page. In the middle of the page are site news. Uh, that CCC may post to all our online students. In the top right corner, it asks you for a username and a password. The directions is directly underneath that. It explains your username is your student ID number. And the password is the last four digits of your social security number. Again, your username is your student ID number. If you do not know that student ID number, you may check with any correspondence from the college, may have that number listed, or you may call our admissions office at the phone number mentioned earlier, and they would be happy to let you know what your username is as far as your student ID number. Once you have those two bits of information, you will push those in. And we're going to log in as a student I have created and it will bring you once you've logged in it should to the upper right tell us your name or tell you your name we have logged in as Joe Raven it still has the site news in the middle now where are my classes I'd like I'm Joe and I'd like to to look at the classes I need to do some work in some my, in my online classes couple ways you can do that. They are listed under My Courses. You click My Courses, pulls the arrow down, it lists your classes on the side. Or if you click on at the very top here on the left, My Home, it'll chug and it will list then all of your classes in the middle of the screen. Just like so. You can scroll down, it lists all the assignments due in each of the classes and what you need to do. To go inside a class, you click on the class name, Developmental Psych, and we can go inside the class and see all the information inside the class. Course materials, the syllabus, you can click on the syllabus, it'll bring up the syllabus in the class. Some important information. This class, particular class, is broken down by some dates and it looks like some note outlines, a form which is like a discussion board, and some exams. You also have quick links, uh, maybe in an activities block along the side with a calendar. If I scroll to February, you can see uh, hover over the dates that are highlighted and you can see things and when they are due. 
If you see on each of the blocks, it says if you hover, hover over the icon, it says move this to the dock. If I click on that, it moved it somewhere. Now they're all disappearing. Well, there are along the left side of your screen is where those have moved to. You can come down and click the box at the bottom and it will move them all back on the screen for you. Say you've been in this class for a while and you want to see your grades. Scroll down. You may notice these are all the classes you are enrolled in along the side. Under that is a settings block and one, the middle one is grades. You can click on grades and it will show you your grade in this particular course or if you hit a user overview report it'll show you your grades in all your courses. To get back to the front page is along the top click on developmental psychology or click on your class name and that will take you back to your front page of your course. If you're done with this class, want to go to another class, click on home in the top left and that'll take you back to the login page. And again, your classes are listed under my home or my courses to take you to a new course. Say it's, we want to work in computer concepts now. Just click on the class name and it takes you back into the course. Thank you, and I hope this instruction video, instructional video has helped.